Hello there. This is a quick work set tip. When you're dealing with linked files, managing the, the visibility levels and grids can be a bit ornery. It's a little better now with 2011 and then the additional control we have over uh, work sets in a linked file, but uh, one of the things you can do to sort of minimize the effort or steps you have to take to control them is agree on some work sets in the first place. Now, what I've done in the MEP model that I can see right here is I've copied and monitored uh, grids from an architectural model so that I can share the grids but I can use my own stuff. Now I'm looking at the architectural file so let me switch back to MEP. <clears throat> now in Revit MEP I have my own grids and they're assigned to a work set that's been carefully called MEP grids. Now when I when I did take the time uh, to copy and monitor them I set them up. I set up a work set for the arched model, the architectural model, and a work set for MEP grids. When I copied and monitored them, I made sure that my grids were assigned to MEP grids after I created them. And see the monitor symbol is there. <coughs> now, when I switch back over to the architectural model, I haven't yet imported the MEP model. When I look at the work sets, I created one for linked models MEP and one called MEP grids as well. And notice the visibility in this case is off. Now, when I go to insert and link Revit, and I grab my MEP model and I bring it in origin to origin, which is what I should be able to do for the most part, even if shared coordinates are involved. If I start working with an architectural model, vice versa, that's been set up with an understanding of origin to origin, then the shared coordinates only become important if I have to start exporting my other data, my data out so that it can land on top of a civil file as well. Now notice, when I imported the MEP model, no grids, no other grids showed up in my view here. Now if I go to work sets and I check that box, MEP grids, <coughs> they'll come back and now I can see where the MEP's version of my grids are. So taking the time to agree on some work sets in advance can save you the trouble of having to go in and deal with them on a routine basis. As you import the file, they'll just not be there. And you can always turn around and choose to turn them on when it's important to coordinate them. Obviously not being able to see them at all is a problem prior to 2011 we didn't have this option and we would literally have to re-import the thing and specify the correct work sets a little bit more work and trouble anyway it's a good tip just make sure your grids and your levels are in work sets that you both agree on you can name them carefully and then you can have these equivalent work set even though you don't really use it for anything you can have that equivalent work set and then manage the visibility of those external elements very quickly hope it helps